So what I did here is I took a 2.4 volt cordless screwdriver and I turned it into a uh, generator to power my Nexus 7 tablet. What I did is I connected this 9 volt battery clip internally to the wires coming off the back of the gearhead motor and the cordless screwdriver. And then I bought this battery, 9 volt battery clip battery pack that takes standard AA batteries and that connects to that and then you, you do is you put a uh, hand crank on this you can use just a uh, ratchet if you want and then with your battery pack attached charge these batteries and then you take these batteries and you put them in I bought this on eBay it's a uh, battery extender from Hong Kong for the Nexus 7 tablet it has the right plugging the right US mini USB so once you charge your batteries in the uh, cordless you put them in this and then uh, that way you're not taking a any power directly from the cordless into the uh, batteries of the Nexus 7 tablet, which would be somewhat dangerous because you can actually over voltage the batteries and potentially burn the electronics in the Nexus tablet. So the idea is to do it in a series of steps. Batteries into this, then into this, and then uh, you plug your battery extender into this tablet. And to show that I actually generate power with this thing, I hooked up this small DC motor through clip leads to the uh, my 9 volt battery clip back here. There are three Phillips screws holding this casing together, and then a uh, metal clip on the gearhead motor housing. I'll go ahead and remove that. these out. The better idea would probably be to solder the 9 volt battery clip to the motor leads here instead of what I've done which was right to the battery pack intercepted the wires from the battery pack. Some danger that when you dump a uh, charge from one battery pack to another without any resistive load. The amount of current that flows is pretty heavy and so both battery packs will heat up quite a bit which is not really that safe so might want to skip that what I did here and just go right to the skip this onboard battery pack all together and just clip your 9 volt battery leads right to the back of this motor. So I'll go ahead and put the two halves of the cordless screwdriver housing back together. And the battery pack and the switch assembly, this isn't really needed to hold the assembly together, so I'll just skip putting this into the housing all together. And I'll just feed my wire right out to where the, the switch used to be. And go ahead and attach the uh, gear housing. So I'll go ahead and turn my hand crank here and see how much voltage I actually get out of my cordless. So I'm turning at a pretty reasonable RPM. It looks like I can get probably a little over 2 volts pretty easily. You usually want your charging voltage slightly over your battery voltage. So I'd have to probably turn this at a pretty good rate to maintain something a little over 2.4 volts. These nickel metal hydride batteries are rated at 1.2 volts each. Or I could also just do one battery at a time and make a basically a blank battery to complete the circuit here. Basically I just cut a bolt off that fits in the uh, battery pack here. 
So after a little experimentation, I decided to use my uh, dummy battery here. It's easier to turn this hand crank against the Force of One battery because they essentially have to go in the opposite direction of rotation to charge. Assuming you charged all four batteries, you can go ahead and transfer them into your auxiliary battery pack for your Nexus 7. Of course, it's got the standard mini USB. Go ahead and plug it in. And there we have it. My auxiliary battery pack was charged with my cordless. I just transferred the batteries from this battery pack into this Nexus 7 auxiliary battery pack and connected it up with the supplied mini USB.